Hey guys, it's Brendan here. I'm here to take you through my journey as Solar 2052 and share with you some feedback. I've used some images to help you guys understand what my semester was like. So this is me, Brendan Keneally. We built an irrigation system as part of Team Kappa. I had two primary roles this semester. Hands-on in the mechanical team, working with a lot of tools, and also as part of the report writing team, doing a lot of editing, because I really, really liked to write, and that was a skill set the team needed. My progress wasn't always straightforward. Often I deviated as things changed along the semester. Originally I started out designing the monitoring system. This changed due to feedback and I worked primarily on the injector. Later on, in weeks 7 to 10, I spent most of my time building in the workshop. And then, towards the end of the semester, I did a lot of the report writing and editing. Some feedback I got. Good conclusions. Good work in week 7. Good work, Brendan. Good work, amazing job in week 11. If you don't believe me, I've got the things right there. What can we learn from this feedback? I think that I was perceived to do a good job, which is great. I also think that I did a good job on reporting and doing these bi-weekly reports, which is also important to document stuff. However, the feedback, well, the lack of feedback left little room to improve and I feel this is something that might have really impacted my role in the team. It should definitely be something you do in the future. Give your team members more detailed feedback. What are some challenges that I personally faced? One of the biggest challenges was the dynamic in the team. Many of the team are Chinese nationals, or Zhongguo Tong Shuimen, Chinese classmates. This really affected the communication and the team dynamic. It also placed a great deal of stress on my writing ability. However, despite our differences, I feel this really enriched the team. I'm currently studying Chinese and I found that not only communicating with them, but also forming some great friendships with some of my classmates and teammates was something that was really awesome. So it was a challenge, but I guess it was also a positive. Furthermore, one of the challenges that I personally faced was working in the team and having a bit of an uneven workload on building the actual project. I found I spent a lot of time in MCIC and this is something that was really taxing on myself and probably wasn't ideal. Delays and problems with shipping plagued the team. For example, getting a part from Hong Kong, i.e. the sprinkler system, all the way to us in UNSW takes a really long time and takes away time and money. Something that we didn't account enough for. Other problems included being shipped the wrong parts by manufacturers from ruined Queensland, which also just delayed the project. What could I learn and what would I change? I learned that shit happens. Problem solving really, in reality, happens on the fly. And sometimes you have to accept the solution that's good enough. Two, I also would like next year to have a smaller construction team with two to three dedicated people. This would have been really helpful. We also should have had more time to construct and realistic goal setting would have been really important as well as greater consultation with the farmers and the teachers. What I really liked, learn a lot of great skills, AutoCAD, Fusion 360, Rhinoceros and all these other software packages lent to me learning how to CNC mill, laser cutting as well as a lot of soldering. Not only are these skills cool, but they're also really, really applicable for everyday life, especially as an engineer. I also like working in such a team, diverse team. Although we, our team method changed from agile to scrum, methodology wasn't really important. What matters is that we had great teamwork, despite the lack of structure. And that was something that was really, really good. I also learned the importance of just building something. It doesn't have to be perfect like this house here, it can be a bit wonky, but it's still good. What's important is that engineers in these early years go out and apply their knowledge. Whether they try, whether they fail or succeed, it's about trying. A really good example of this is this 3D print here. This was my first 3D print. As you can see, it didn't work the first time, didn't work the second time, but the third time we got a perfect part. That's been my feedback on this semester. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something.